Hi there, and welcome to the National Invitation Tournament Finals. Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale. And how will this great matchup unfold between the LSU Tigers and the Villanova Wildcats? Number one is an unbelievable player who's been given the reins to take his team to victory. This kid will punish your team by dribbling through your defense, then making the right pass once the defenders have committed. The Wildcats will see that their offense goes through him tonight, Dick. The Wildcats are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested or not, Brad, they still have to do the following things. Number one, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Second, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. And lastly, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Shoots from right of the circle. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Gave it up. There's the trap. On the dribble, gives it up. The crowd really admires this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. They're working around the perimeter, trying to feed the low block. There they come with a double team to stop it. It's good. Number one is feeling good. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Oh, yes. Number three receives the pass. Gave it up. He unloads a three. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. we got to get the ball. He gets the rejection. They're going to move it around the perimeter. On the outside. Lobs it inside. Jumps into the defender. Got to make that, baby. Had that wide-open angle. Have a chance to lay it on a glass for an easy dish. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBA, nothing but nylon. They're working around the arc. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. They go into the low block. There's a double team waiting there. And up, way off target. Goes up for two. There was no doubt about that one. inside kicks it out they're working around the perimeter defensively doing a great job down there and he's winning that battle there I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out and that's how he's winning that battle 
He's got the post flashing if he wants it. The center receives the ball. Ten on the shot clock. Step out on that screener. LSU are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Down inside. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Tries for two. I'd say a great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Great play to take that to the basket. He shoots from the top of the key. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. He tries to knock down the three. Goes. There's a bad pass right to the defender. On the outside. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. From right in the circle, scorches the net. He fires away. He gets the shot to fall. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Number 21, pump fakes. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Number one is whistled for the foul. First team foul. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. Number two goes to the charity stripe for three. First one is good. Makes his second shot. He makes his third. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He hits the shot. With plays like that, you need instant replay. Now trying to feed the low block. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when you put. He got the dunk to go plus the foul. Hey, I applaud this young man for taking this kind of punishment in the air, Brad.
Number 14 going to the charity stripe for the first time tonight. It goes in. Looking for a good shot. He shoots. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. They work the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. The center handles the pass. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. LSU have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. The skip pass is picked off. He keeps his dribble as they reset. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Great play to take that to the basket. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? here you want to establish some good tempo Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him well it's the key is to really beat him to the spot get help from the help side and really do a great job seeing ball and man the kick out he's got some room he looks for the bomb he gets the bucket to fall Number 21 handles the feed. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Look at that spacing. He shoots from outside. It sticks. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. From downtown, he hits it. Both teams looking to get things going here. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. I don't think the coach wants to take an that shot. That's incredible. Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Doesn't go. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. On the dribble, gives it up. Shot though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. 
He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And, oh, good defense. Uh, that defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Buried it. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. This replay is going to be an encore presentation everywhere. Shot didn't fall. Look the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Time to pick up the defense here now. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribble act here and turns it over. For two. Great shot. Gave it up. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. On a terrific job on a defense to beat him on the spot, Mr. Nestler. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the talking. Steals a pass. Pushes it up. Picked out of the air. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. Blocked! Nice job defensively. He intercepts it. Mr. Nestler looks like there'll be an easy two here. Number two picks up the foul. First team foul. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. The Wildcats go to the line for the first time in this game. Gets his first. And he got them both. with the ball as the offense regroups. Number 14 with the foul. He's got a high post flasher. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. Off the rim and no good. Picks off the pass. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. That basketball steals the ball. Nice fake. Tries for two. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Moving it around the perimeter. 
had an open guy in the post and went the other way. There's the screen up on top. Way off target. Knocks it down. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? For two. Can't get the shot to drop. Double team now. Bad angle. Fires away. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Tries one from three-point land. Oh, yes. Let's see it if the replay does that any justice. for a good shot. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. For a bucket, makes the shot. He wants a three. Got it. Looking for a good shot. Kicks off the lazy pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. He knocks down another bucket down. This kid's got skills, Brad. Accepted. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Fakes the shot. He makes a nice shot fake. And he'll kick it back outside. He unloads. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Top of this. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And they come up with a steal. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Off the rim and no good. They're working around the perimeter. Blocks the shot. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Tries for two. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. shot given his abilities. Then I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. From the top of the circle, the Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. At the end of the first half, the Wildcats are behind by three. Villanova is not having the best of days on the boards in the first half. Hey, some poor rebound of performance by this squad so far. Seems like everybody's waiting for someone else to grab the rock. 
Dick, start of the second half, we take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. 2005-2006 marked quite an amazing year for both the men's and the women's basketball teams at LSU. Both teams went to the Final Four, which is really amazing for the school. I think it says a lot about the athletic department. Having both programs go that deep in the postseason is remarkable. That doesn't happen that often. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up the event? Hey, Brian, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Double team. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Way off target. Villanova have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He looks for three. Drains the shot. Little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. at the three. They let him get into a rhythm. Jumped in front to take it away. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's a 7-0 run. They come with a double team to stop it. Number one is charged with the foul. Second, personal foul. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Takes the pass in the paint. He shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. is a three. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. Kick 
Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. Looking to move it around the and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Here's a flash from the post up high. Number 20 is called for the foul. Second team foul. High post flashes for the opportunity. Throws it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passionately. Anticipating really well. Number one with the defensive foul. Second team foul. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. High post flashes for the ball handler. He puts up the tray. Villanova is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Stolen away. Perfectly executed. Steals a pass. Goes up for two. He gets it to go. They scored 17 in a row. Working it around the perimeter. Fakes a jumper. He shoots from the baseline. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Let them give him a try, Brian. If only my knees weren't aching. They move it into the front court. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot he didn't have the good angle they should have got it to him about a second earlier number 24 is whistled for the foul first personal foul Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Takes away the pass. No doubt about that one. Gave it up. 
Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Moving it around the perimeter. And working around the perimeter. Number 10 picks up the foul. Fourth team foul. Well, Doug, we're about halfway through the second half. Our focus player, how do you think he's doing tonight? I'll tell you one thing. He has really come out with purpose. He really has. He's making us look good, picking him as a focus player, because he's doing all the right things. Executes the baby hook. Doesn't go. Looking for a good shot. Shooter spotting up on a three. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. On the dribble, gives it up, and he'll kick it back outside. For two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There was no doubt about that one. Great block shot. Gets it to fall. Villanova's only championship came in 1985 when they defeated the likes of higher seeds. They went through Michigan and Maryland, North Carolina, and of course, then it was Georgetown in the final. Hey, Brad, those teams were tough that year, too. That team peaked at the right time. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. High post player flashing. Throws it up, leaning in, trying to draw contact. The Tigers have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. And now they'll bring it up. Great play to take that to the basket. He tries the three ball, scorches the net. He can't stay with it. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. They work the perimeter. Here's the three ball, buried it. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. He's doing a great job. I tell you, do a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Up and inside. He shoots from right of the circle, drains it. On the outside, in the paint. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Takes away the pass. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Villanova are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic.
Gave it up. He intercepts it. And he'll kick it back outside. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Dan. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing off is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Puts up the tray. He shows the sweet touch. They'll work it around the arc. They've left him completely alone. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Takes the pass in the paint. It's good. That's seven on answer. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. At the line. Hits the first. Hits that one. In the paint. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? On the outside. Goes up for two. Finger roll. The Wildcats lead by six. The shooting guard receives the ball. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing the ball. Basic. Dumps it in. Number three. Up and in. A little showtime. It's going to be a three-point play. Got the foul. The bench loves it. Isn't that something? He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Makes the shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. And he'll kick it back outside. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Rejects it. Sinks the shot. From three point range, he buries the shot. Long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. For two. Villanova are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Right in the circle. And he can't hit 
the shot. He strips him clean. Gave it up. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Intercepted. This should be an easy two. For the deuce. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting rod. If they can get a basket here, Dick, this crowd will erupt. Take it away. The Wildcats are a stop away from here, and this crowd goes senseless. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. He makes them both. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. He shoots from left of the circle. He hits it. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. The Wildcats will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Lobs it. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. LSU are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to put on offense. He intercepts it. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Thanks, Aaron. There might be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They're on fire deck from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There's the trap. 
Is that what you call a next level play? Well, it's definitely a big time play in this game right now. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Shot clock is dead. But Dick, it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing, they're getting good shots and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Makes the front end of the one and one. He makes the second shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Step back out onto the court. Three points is the difference. That's right. So somebody better guard the York. He fires from long range. Sinks it. Wow, let's check out the replay. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The player's got a much needed breather with that timeout. Too physical. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. No finish on that one. Timeout's called on the floor. This is where the two players come to play. It's crunch time, baby. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. He launches the bomb. He can't get the bucket to fall. The ball game is going to overtime. This is what these fans want to see. Knock down, drag them out basketball, baby. At the end of the second half, it's a dead heat. These teams are going into overtime. And we're off into overtime. This one might go down to the final buzzer. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that could become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounding. I wonder what it will come down to in this game. For the bucket. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Play that back for me one time. Shoots from long range. He buries it. The power forward with the ball. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact down on the defensive player.
strokes it. He's money with a shot. Up and inside. Takes the pass in the paint. He puts it in with contact and all. Let's see the replay. The center takes the feed. Gave it up. The power forward gets the pass. Stolen ball. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tickles the twine. You're going to be seeing this one all week. Working around the perimeter. He goes for the trifecta. That was nice. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. There's a double team waiting there. He comes away with it. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Looking for a good shot. The shooting guard gets the ball. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Perfectly executed. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. You bet. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Picked out of the air. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Thanks, Aaron. We're ready to get back to the action. You better plug your ears if they get a basket on this possession. On the dribble, gives it up. He pump fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And back they come the other way. He hammers it home. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. I knew this was going to be a dandy, baby. The lead is down to three. The crowd loves this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Great defense. Timeout's called on the floor. This is where the true players come to play. It's crunch time, baby. It'll be interesting to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. For two, rims out. Picks off the lazy pass. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Change 
things up a little bit, Nick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Shot clock is dead. On the outside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important point in the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Hits the second. Take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won or lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. we go our focus player update our final one of the ball game and he led his team to victory I tell you one thing he really responded to the challenge and that led them to the winner's circle Villanova gets the job done in overtime they came in the favorites and they did not disappoint so for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews I'm Brad Nessler saying so long